And of course, this has happened during the surging Delta variant, which took over so rapidly in this country. Um, that plays into people's sense of urgency for boosters, but also for some people, an awareness that variants can come very quickly. Are you looking at variants of concern that could render the vaccines we now have uh, ineffective? Absolutely. And I, and I will say that we've been saying from day one, even before we knew if vaccines worked, that in an airborne airborne spreading pandemic, you're only safe if everyone is safe. Now, I think people all nodded and said, yes, yes, yes. But as, as instinct is, let me protect my family, my community. I think when the Delta variant appeared in India and you saw the dramatic um, pictures of the horror that went on there and they weren't prepared for that, but that, that virus moved around the world and began to replace the virus in other places, I think people began to say, okay, now we understand that we really have to have a global response to a global pandemic, not domestic. So there is a watch, there are variants of interest and there are some scary variants that keep appearing, but we don't yet understand. There's a C12 that just appeared in South Africa that may have resistance um, uh, you know, genes to vaccines. There's a new Mu um, variant of interest. The challenge is up until now, all of the variants have provided have been able to be protected against severe disease and death by the existing vaccines. But that may not continue and why there is an urgency to try to get a global response and not just a local response. And we're and we are prepared, by the way. Sorry, Francis, one more of the point. Okay. We are prepared as a community now. I mean, now that we have all of these different vaccines, manufacturers are working and making vaccines against the variants. Right now, there is no need to roll those out, but we have new technologies such as mRNA vaccines that can be very quickly changed. And so the world could pivot quickly if we needed a new vaccine. But of course, we'd be back to the same problem of how to vaccinate seven and a half billion people across the world with that new product.